What would this great sport be without derby passion? Two teams who know plenty about each other, but aren't very fond of each other. Live on EA TV. It is a stadium that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Fulham taking on Chelsea. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, Fulham have the ball back now. Blocked it brilliantly. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, it's great to see a team playing with wingers in a 4-3-3, but they've got to be effective, both with their dribbling and their crosses. Otherwise, they'll become bit-part players. Only natural that the attack should go through Willian. An utterly disappointing cross. Goal kick. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. He got a good palm on it. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Must be, and a fantastic diving save. And over it comes. Nicely blocked. Well, pressure building, another corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Jimenez. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Who can they pick out? Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Can they use it to their advantage? Can he convert? And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, not quite the cross he was hoping for. Oh, breezing past him. Can he finish? Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. He fancies it. Very much run of the mill as saves go. Caicedo. Mudrik. Must take the lead here. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. 
Now breaking at pace. Potential danger. Wilson. Well, they have to pay attention. Superbly read and executed. Moises Caicedo. Could be dangerous. Can he keep his composure? It could be up for grabs. For the lead here. Oh, how about that for a tackle? Moises Caicedo. Jackson. And he might be through here. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Space on the flank. William. And it's played into the centre. And the attack fizzling out. Sterling. Can they hit on the break? Opportunity it is. Oh, it's a save and a half from Bernd Leno. Corner kick played in, and still dangerous. Well, nothing comes of it. Wilson. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. And the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. And he's fired over the corner. And a decent save. Full credit. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Playing it in. Oh, just look at that! I don't mind saying that is out of this world! Spectacular! Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Well, all eyes are on the manager. What's he going to do to turn this around? it is half time the first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage well he's been the standout for his side so far don't you think Stuart 
Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field. And I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. is moving once more not enough went to plan for Chelsea in the first half can they address what didn't go right and giving it away Wilson and teammates to play it to chance here they won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. Now sending it in. Has he got a score? A good and fair challenge. Mudrik and Chelsea regaining possession will he play it in well nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done Well, they might be able to launch a counter-attack. All hands on deck. And the danger cleared. Mikhailo Mudrik. Conor Gallagher. Attacking possibilities for Chelsea. But they dealt with the threat posed. And into the last 30 minutes now. Mikhailo Mudrik. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Into the advanced position. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Coming onto the pitch. And time for the change now. to cross into the center well, too much elevation on the header but not a bad effort well they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game substitution for Chelsea coming off the pitch Well, after pressing like that, maybe the short route to goal. And into the last 20 minutes. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Now, maybe room here for the counter-attack. Oh, breezing past him. Still could be dangerous. And a Chelsea throw in coming up here. Well, the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. And danger averted. Well read. Well.
What can Chelsea do from this position? He's blocked it, and it might be. Can they put it away? In it goes! At the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, I have to say, you can understand his frustration. This is going to be an edgy game now. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Level pegging, but can they change that? This forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be their last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. Who's going to get on the end of it? On the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. Oh, super piece of play. Oh, that's a goal at the wrong end. Well, it's every defender's nightmare. An own goal here. Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Caicedo. Sterling. The onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out. Exploiting the wide area. And he did what he had to do defensively. And the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Well, far from the cross he had in mind. Goal kick it is. giving him a moment's peace the referee blows for full time it ends at a victory for the home team no complaints from the fans here well Derek what a good finish to the game that was they just wore down the opposition and in the end they got their reward that's a really good win for them. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.